on Sunday, December 5th from Los Angeles, the City of Angels, the Staples Center, when Gervonta Tank Davis, three-division world champion, unbeaten, one of boxing's biggest stars, one of boxing's most powerful knockout artists, a knockout percentage of well over 90%, steps into the ring against Isak Cruz, a hard punching contender, a young man who has won 17 straight fights since 2016. It should be a great event. It is being promoted by Mayweather Promotions, GTG Promotions, and of course, TGB Promotions as well. Tickets are on sale. You can purchase your tickets at AXS.com. Again, ASX. Dot com. We're going to talk to both of the fighters. You'll hear from both of them. We're going to ask some questions. I know you members of the media here, you're going to have questions going to allow you the opportunity to ask those questions directly to both of those fighters. Uh, but first, let me bring in some people who help make and bring all of this together. Uh, let me start first with the CEO of Mayweather Promotions, Mr. Leonard Ellerby. Hey, Brian. Thank you. Um, thank all the media for joining us today. Uh, this is an exciting matchup with, um, again, the most exciting fighter in the world to my left, taking on Isak Cruz, again, who's a tough, hard-nosed, lightweight. He's a top 10 contender across the board with all the ratings. Um, he's a very, very exciting young fighter himself. Um, and he's looking to come and knock Tank off his throne. Um, the country of Mexico is riding very high. I'm um, off of the big Canelo win where he made history. And there's a big opportunity for Cruz to stand up for his country. And he's going to be looking to take Tank right on out. And I know for quite some time, um, I've been having my eye on him, talking with my good friend Sean Gibbons um, for quite some time. And I've had my eye on him really since the uh, he fought on Tank's undercard um, when we fought, <clears throat> excuse me, in San Antonio. And I was very, very impressed with the knockout that he had against Magdalena. And um, I had this conversation with Sean, and Sean was saying that, look, he coming for your boy. And I said, well, look, he might get that opportunity one day down the road. But again, Tank's always ready. He stay ready, so he ain't got to get ready. Again, so December the 5th, expect nothing but fireworks. This fight will definitely end in a knockout. Thank you, Leonard. You know, the irony uh, about this fight is both of these fighters have both been described as mini Mike Tysons. Uh, Isak Cruz because of his punching power. And we know what Gervonta Davis brings to the ring. And you look at his knockout record, he's knocked out just about every fighter that has stepped into the ring with him. It should be one heck of a fight. Uh, let me also bring in the president of TGB Promotions, the Hall of Famer himself, especially when it comes to matchmaking. Here's Mr. Tom Brown. Thank you, Brian. And it is going to be an incredible night. And Los Angeles has always been a great boxing town going back more than 100 years. And when fighters from Mexico City come to Southern California to fight, they come with a ton of pride, courage, and desire. They flat out don't want to lose. And Isaac Cruz is a certified Mexican warrior from Mexico City. You know, the Staples Center has a rich tradition of bringing the best and biggest fights to Los Angeles. And with Tank Davis fighting, you know there's going to be an electrifying crowd in there that night. And something about the Staples Center always seems to bring out the best in the fighters also. So it's going to be bombs away on December 5, like Leonard said, and you don't want to miss this. Thank you, Brian. Absolutely. Thank you, Tom. And of course, Sean Gibbons is a man who helps represent Isak Cruz. Uh, Sean, if you would, just give us a, a statement about your fighter in this fight. Yeah, just um, I want to uh, uh, thank uh, Leonard Ellaby. I want to thank Mayweather Promotions, TGB, um, and uh, for, you know, for getting this opportunity. Um, our promotion, Manny Pacquiao Promotions, this is our first fighter from Mexico we've ever signed. And, um, you know, when Manny saw Isaac Cruz fight, he saw him knock out Diego Magdaleno. He's got a lot of um, uh, hope in the kid. He believes he's got the real deal. He's 23 years old. And, you know, uh, coming from Mexico City, they don't get any tougher and better than that. So I think it's going to be a tremendous fight. I think the fans are going to be the real winners here. And uh, we're just happy to have Mayweather versus uh, Pacquiao, Mayweather promotions, Pacquiao promotions, and Isaac Cruz December 5th. 
<laughs> Thank you, Sean. Way to just turn the knife here. Just add more <laughs> animus to this fight. Way to go, Sean. All right. So let's hear from the fighters. Enough about us. I mean, we, we know what these guys can do. Tank is unbeaten. Isak Cruz, 17 straight wins since 2016. Let's start with the, the contender here. Isak Cruz. Isak, if you would, uh, give members of the media just your thoughts on this fight and finally getting into the ring with Tank Davis. Uh, Martin Bader will translate. Uh, thank you, Brian. Bueno, Isaac, contanos tus primeras sensaciones. Eh, ya escuchaste a Lena, ya escuchaste a John, te han llamado un contendiente top 10, que sos un rival de, de temer. ¿Qué, ¿Qué pensás vos de esta pelea? No, pues antes que nada, a darles las gracias a, a Tom, a Sean, a Mayweather Promotion, a, a Yerbonta por por darme la oportunidad, y bueno, nosotros vamos a hacer lo propio para, para dar una gran sorpresa el 5 de diciembre en el Staples Center. Uh, well, you know, f uh, first of all, thank you to Tom, to Sean, to Mayweather Promotions, and of course, Gerbonta, uh, to give, for giving me this great opportunity, and I'm ready to put on a show on December 5th at Staples Center. Fantastic. Thank you, Isak. Appreciate that. And uh, now, let's bring in the champion. Uh, his version of the WBA lightweight title will be on the line. He's a three-division world champion. He's known as Tank, Gervonta Davis. Gervonta? Uh, I'm just happy to be here. Uh, excited to be in this, you know, this position. You know, um, I've been working hard, you know, uh, late, you know, different opponent. But, you know, it is what it is. That's what comes with the sport of boxing. You know, I know that uh, it's a crew is going to come to fight, and you know it's going again. The fans don't don't lose. You know, they they definitely win. You know, come December fifth because there will be a exciting fight. I know he's coming. You know, well prepared, and I'm coming well prepared. So I'm de I'm definitely grateful for this opportunity. Uh, once again, thank you. You know, to Mayweather Promotion, Bennett. You know, uh, his uh, his himself. Uh, Mayweather Mayweather himself. Uh, Al Hamer Showtime. Is it TGB? TGB. TGB. You know, uh, thank y'all for, you know, having us. And uh, just everybody that's included to making this big event, you know, happen, even uh, Steve Espinosa and things like that, you know. So I'm just grateful to be in this position, ready to put on a great show, December the 5th, and may everybody win. Fantastic. Thank you. You know, one thing you're going to get, whether it's Isaac Cruz, but you know with Javante Davis, you're going to get excitement. And you're going to get knockouts. And I think that's what we want to see in the sport of boxing. Uh, it should be one heck of a fight. All right, guys, let's let's talk about this fight a little bit. And, you know, Leonard, let me start with you, because I know members of the media are going to have this question. Um, you know, when you had to make the switch here and you bring in uh, Isak Cruz, how many guys did you seriously consider uh, and why Isak Cruz? Well, Isak Cruz, again, he he's across the board. He's a, a top 10 contender, one of the top lightweights in the world. And he's been that way. And he's, again, he's coming to fight. He's coming to fight. And again, he's not no last minute replacement. So let me kind of clear that part up. He was already fighting on the car. He's already fighting on the car. So he's been training and I know he's ready and he's going to be ready. So again, it's going to be a terrific fight. He's going to, he's from, from the opening bell, he's going to bring it to Tank. And Tank's going to have to be on point every second because again, He's the kind of guy, again, just like Tank. He puts that kind of mental pressure on you, and he's a tremendous puncher. And again, it's it's going. It's this fight will end in a knockout. Mm. Uh, Champ Gervonta, uh, what was your reaction when you got word that Roley uh, was being removed and Isak Cruz was your new opponent? Um, just you know, it was it was a little disappointing. Not for, but uh, saying that. I'm fighting inside Cruz, but just, you know, the build up for me and Roley, but you know, this is what happened with uh, the sport of boxing. Anything can happen, you know? Um, so, you know me, I just stay, stay put and whatever the task is, you know, I, I, I'm always the one that, you know, step up to the plate, and, you know, and get the job done. Uh, Isak, let me come to you. Uh, what was your reaction uh, when you got the call and they said, Tank Davis, uh, wants to fight you and uh, you would be the main event there on Showtime pay-per-view. What was your uh, reaction when you got that call and it was Tank Davis, your new opponent? 
Contanos, Isaac, cuál fue tu reacción cuando levantaste el teléfono y, y te dijeron, vas a estar en el evento principal con Tank Davis, Staples Center, por Showtime. ¿Qué te pasó por la cabeza? Fueron sentimientos encontrados, pero más que eso, fue una, una gran motivación eh, el escuchar de parte de mi empresa, de Sean Gibbons y Money Paquia Promotion, esta gran oportunidad que, que me presentaron y bueno, no la vamos a desaprovechar. No, but it's not. It, it was a wide array of feelings, but the most gratifying part of it is that I got to hear it from Sean Gibbons and Manny Pacquiao Promotions, the way this all started and it's almost coming full circle, it made me really happy and it made me even more motivated to be, to be ready for December 5th. Uh, uh, Isaac, you know, listen, you've won 17 straight fights since 2016, but tell us why you believe you're the man who can finally defeat Tank Davis and that you are ready for this moment on pay-per-view. Bueno, tu racha de victorias consecutivas es ciertamente impresionante, pero ¿por qué la gente debe creer que sos vos el que va a destronar a Tank Davis? Eh, pues yo creo que porque no ha enfrentado a un peleador con mis características Dan, Tank, y bueno, eh, nosotros no nos vamos a confiar y vamos a a llegar como lo que estamos llegando como con el hambre que tenemos de, de triunfo. Uh, we will certainly not be overconfident in any way at all, but I gotta tell you, Tank never fought against anybody of my style, of my characteristics, and we're working really hard in order to make that style and those characteristics be the most productive they can be uh, on December 5th when Tank is gonna have to be ready. Mm. Uh, well, Tank, let me get your, your response to that. Uh, how different of a fight is this going to be against Isaac Cruz compared to Rolly Romero? Um, I mean, I think that, you know, I, I, to me, I think it's going to be more of an inter, in, interesting fight because he come, he's, he come forward, I come forward, so... Yeah, you have it. It's like two cars coming forward. It's going to be a big crash, you know, so uh, that's, the, that's the only way I can, I can put it, you know, so it's definitely going to be something good, uh, great, you know, for the fans, for everybody. You know, I think that it's going to be another exciting night for the sport of boxing. Um, just made the best man win. As long as he come with his A game, I'm coming with my A game. Get the fans what they want to see. Uh, and, and, and give me your response to what he said. He said he doesn't believe that you fought anyone like him. So that kind of goes to what I think Leonard was talking about, that mental and physical pressure that he generally brings to opponents. Your thoughts on that? I mean, he could say that. He's never fought nobody like me. You know, he, he, somebody that, that can box and actually can hit. You know, he could say, Mike Tyson said, you, you say it. All that till you get hit in the face. <laughs> no, so we just got to see. Come be seven to fifth. I will be ready. Hopefully he ready. And, you know, we get a fast what they want to see. All right. Uh, Martin, if you could, if you could get e Isaac's response to that. Bueno, eh, so, bueno, Isaac, lo que eh, Tank te respondió es que, eh, como dice Tyson, uno tiene un plan hasta que te golpean en la cara, ¿verdad? O sea, él dice que a la misma vez que vos o sea que él no se ha enfrentado a alguien como vos vos no estás enfrentado a alguien como él y que la pelea lo entusiasma porque va a ser como un choque entre dos autos a toda velocidad vos encarando hacia él él encarando hacia vos ¿qué te genera que, que Tank diga eso? ahora sí que el, el público va a ser el ganador porque va a haber una gran pelea entre el Pitbull y el Tank y la afición va a estar al borde de la butaca el 5 de diciembre Well, you know what? Who's gonna who's gonna truly win on December fifth? The fans, because people and tank are gonna crash into each other, and it's gonna be fireworks, and people are gonna be on the edge of their seats. I can guarantee that. Love that. Uh, hey, tank. You know, one of the things I think I, I love is that I read, and generally you don't see this when you have the top fighters in the game sparring and giving each other good work, and we've seen that and seen that with you and Sean Porter. So tell me about that work that you've gotten in with Sean Porter and tell me why. Why 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 work with Sean Porter in advance of this fight with Isaac Cruz? It definitely was a, a good experience 
you know, spot work with Sean Porter. Um, I, uh, my coach Barry Hunter, he he called me and asked me do I do I want to work with Sean Porter. I said why not, you know. So we we went up to his you know his gym and we got working, you know. Um, I know for sure after that after that uh, spawn session, you know Sean know that you know I can hold my own, you know. Um, I can say the same for Sean, you know. So he 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 know that you know I'm, I'm one of them top guys. I say hmm. that's great. Um, we'll wrap it up with this, and then I'll let the media ask you guys questions. Isak, uh, give me a final word on this. Uh, what can you guarantee us that we're going to see on December fifth when you step in the ring with Tank Davis, and why you believe you're the man that can finally give him a loss? Eh, ¿Qué sería una cosa que vos nos podés garantizar que nos vas a demostrar el 5 de diciembre? ¿Y por qué crees que Isaac Cruz va a poder derrotar a Gervonta Davis? ¿Cuál es la clave? Eh, pues la clave es el, las ganas de sobresalir, dar un nuevo giro de 360 grados a mi vida, darle un nuevo campeón a México. Y bueno, es lo que me tiene motivado es mi esposo y mi hijo para poder pelearle a un gran peleador como es Tank Davis. The, the one thing I can guarantee you is that I'm hungry and I am motivated and I'm not just fighting for myself. I'm fighting for my wife and my son and to give Mexico another, another reason to be proud and obviously to give my career another, another full turn, another 180 degree turn and head towards even bigger things to come. And okay. then, uh, oh, go wait, I, no, he's going to answer the second question, right? Like you wanted to know the, the key to, to defeating Tank, right? Yes, sure. Uh, bueno, pero contanos la clave para derrotar a Tank. O sea, estratégicamente, ¿qué sería, ¿cuál sería la, la razón por la que vas a derrotar a Tank? Eh, pues mi razón es de, de querer ser campeón del mundo, de querer obtener lo que él ya tiene en sus manos, yo, que, yo quererlo tener en las mías. And uh, the key to defeat Tank is for me to want it more, to want those belts that he has, to want them in my hands. It's going to come down to determination. Love it. Uh, Tank, give you the final word here. Again, uh, what, can we, what can you guarantee us that we're going to get on December 5th when we see you once again on pay-per-view? And will the knockout streak continue? <laughs> Uh, this from December, it's going to be, you know, fireworks. I know that for sure. You know, I know that, you know, it's going to be something that, you know, you can't miss or go to the stand and get, get no popcorn or anything like that. So, you know, it's going to be, you know, a tough task, but that's what I'm made for. You know, this is what, this is what I came to do. You know? So, definitely going to be fireworks. Can't wait. You know, uh, make sure y'all tune in to Showtime Pay Per View. Can't make it, you know. Uh, if you can't make it, make sure y'all there early. Love it. All right. I know there's members of the media uh, who've got some questions. Uh, Andrew Roberts here from Swanson's Communication. Uh, he will acknowledge you. All you have to do is hit the raise your hand uh, icon there on the Zoom. He will acknowledge you, and you can ask your question to either fighter. So, Andrew, I'll turn it over to you. Thanks very much, Brian. We're going to start off with Keith Idek from Boxing Scene. Keith, you can go ahead and unmute yourself and ask your questions. Uh, yes, my first question is for Tank. Tank, how do you view this fight against Isak Cruz in comparison to Rolando Romero? Do you see it as a tougher fight? Uh, I think I think that uh, it's definitely a tougher fight. I want to say because, you know, uh, no, nah, I can't. I, I'm not for sure. I can't say I can't say because I I never been in the uh, the ring with uh, Roly and no I never been in the ring with uh, it's a cruise yet so I can't say I I, I think probably after I, I face both of them then I think I can answer that question but I, I'm not sure yet. Okay, I just have one other question related to this tank. Uh, how is this fight different in terms of the build up of the fight? Because of course Roly had a lot to say which I'm sure got under your skin a little bit. Uh, Isak Cruz is a completely different type of person. He's not really going to say a whole lot. How is that different in terms of getting ready for the fight from a promotional standpoint? I mean, it's, 
you gotta adapt to you know whatever you know whatever come your way. You know, just as well I adapted to roller, I could adapt to you know crew. You know, I, at first I was like you know I wasn't even gonna you know do interviews or do a, um come to the press conference with Roly. And I adapted to that. You know, I knew where he was coming. I knew what, what was his game plan to throw me off my tracks. You know, and now I'm just chilling. You know, uh, I'm just adapting to the new opponent. Now I got to figure out what's going on with how, like how he's moving, like how he's thinking. You know, when he coming to the fight, come December fifth. You know, so it's all a big part about me just you know um, adapting to what's in front of me. Thanks, Tank. All right, thanks, Keith. Our next question is going to come from Jim Conlon. Jim, you can unmute yourself and ask your question. Uh, my first question is for uh, Tank. Uh, Tank, is there any fighter that Isaac has beaten on his record so far? As you said, that's an impressive sort of victory. Or is there any sort of uh, accomplishment that you've seen from Isaac Cruz that you feel he can step in the ring with you? You say it one more time. Yeah, I'm just uh, in your. Is there any fight or victory on Isaac's record that impresses you, and is there uh, to make you think that he can step into the ring with you? I mean, um, all his fights are press, uh, impress me. You know, um, he's a, he's a guy that coming in and, and uh, he coming to win. You know, he's never coming in to lose or anything like that. He's never coming to just hanging there, he's coming in there actually to win, you know, so he's definitely, uh, it's not an opponent that I'm overlooking or anything like that, I know he's going to come to fight, so um, a win over him would definitely be, you know, um, big for me, you know, just a stepping stone to what, you know, where I need to go. And my last question is for Isaac. Isaac, you're coming into this fight as a, a wild card and nothing to lose sort of a uh, fight for you. Uh, do you sort of feel that this could be a, a moment to, to savor in your life in terms of this opportunity? Do you feel it's a God uh, blessing for you? Eh, bueno, Isaac, vos ven, llegas a esta pelea sin nada que perder. ¿Sentís que es como un regalo del cielo? ¿Algo como que vas a disfrutar al máximo pase lo que pase? Sí, claro, yo siempre estoy agradecido con Dios por las oportunidades que Él me pone. Y bueno, nosotros vamos a hacer nuestro trabajo para aprovecharlo. Of course, yeah. I, I'm always thankful to God for the opportunities that He provides us. And then, in the end, my duty is to, you know, give my, give my all and work hard in order to take advantage of the opportunities that I'm presented. All right, great. Thanks, Jim. Our next question is going to come from Terrell Van. Terrell, you can unmute yourself and ask your question. How you doing, Tay? Can you hear me? Yeah, that's good. Um, just only one question. Looking at what Canelo has done, what's the highest division you can compete in? And what weight division would you like to end your career? The highest I think I could compete in is probably... Uh, I don't, you don't, you never know. Probably 47. Probably. Uh, I can't tell right now. So, you know, um, I just want to be able to, you know, whenever it's time to move up to any division, uh, any weight class, I can be able to do it. So I definitely don't want to take, um, take punishment, you know, so, I mean, you never know. I want to have fun, fun with the sport of boxing after I put in the work. You know, so you never know, bro. You never know. I probably can get up to 160. <laughs> yeah, you never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> so I just got to handle business, you know, till, till then. All right. Thanks, Terrell. Uh, our next question is going to come from Michael Rita. Michael, you can unmute yourself and ask your question. All right. Thank you. All right. My first question is going to be for Tank. Um, as you said, you know, the difference in fighters between Roley and, and Isaac. Seeing now also the last few fighters you had, they've been a little bit taller than you. Cruz is around your height. Does that make your, uh, you know, preparation for this fight a little different, knowing that you don't have to be, you know, punching up maybe as much to your opponent? Yeah, he's not my height. He's shorter than me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but... Uh... 
it it make a big difference. You know, I, I normally you know fight taller people, like you said, but uh, it make a big difference. So I gotta adjust to you know. This part, nah, this is not the first person I've shown, but it's definitely gonna be um different, you know. So, I mean, I I just gotta adapt to you know um what he coming with, you know. Just like I, like I said, I gotta feed off of you know everything, not just you know um him coming that fight night, you know. I just gotta feed off of everything, like building up to it, see how it, what's his approach. Even this right here, this press conference, even him talking, you know, I just got to feed off it and just figure figure him out, you know, uh, all through the process. Cool. Thank you. And then uh, my other question is going to be for Isaac. It's going to be in Spanish. I, I can't do that. Isaac, eh, eh, con Tank, ya sabes el estilo que, que tiene, la poder que tiene los manos. ¿Qué es algo que tú piensas que puedes traer a él que él no ha mirado en el ring hasta este momento en la carrera? Eh, pues igual el el presionar, el poder eh, dar un, un este, eh, mi fuerza de, de en cada golpe. The question for Michael Reda was, what do you think that you can bring to the fight against Tank that he isn't necessarily going to be uh, expecting in the way that he hasn't faced it before? And, he, and uh, the answer from Isaac was the fact that I can come forward and present my power. Once I show him my power, then I think the fight will, will take a turn. All right. Thanks very much. Our next question is going to come from Eamon Khan with Boxing Social. Eamon, you can unmute yourself and ask your question. Uh, thank you. Pleasure to meet you guys. Um, this question, first of all, is for Javante Davis, or maybe Leonard, you could probably answer this uh, better. Eddie Hearn, a few weeks back, mentioned to me that he was looking to throw Devin Haney's name into the mix for this fight. Can you confirm if a concrete offer was ever made? And fuck Eddie Hearn. We, 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 fuck Eddie Hearn. We're here to talk about Isak Cruz. We got a big pay-per-view fight on December the 5th. No, no problem. No problem at all. Um, the next question is for Isaac Cruz then. Um, Isaac, uh, a lot of people are tipping... <laughs> a lot of people are tipping Javonta Davis for that superstar marquee trajectory. Isaac, do you believe Javonta Davis is on that path? Eh, bueno, Isaac, eh, hay gente que cree que, eh, bueno, mucha gente que cree que Gerponte está destinado a ser una superestrella en el boxeo. ¿Vos opinás lo mismo? Eh, pues él, él lo va a demostrar conforme vaya pasando el tiempo también. ¿Y pero para vos? ¿Que es, él está ascendiente o qué? Pues para mí es un oponente más, para mí no significa algo imposible para poder destronarlo. Uh, look, in the end, it's going to be up to him to show his potential superstar stars on the ring. But to me personally, he's not an impossible mountain to climb and nothing impossible to dethrone either. All right. Thanks, Simon. Our next question is going to come from Danny Flexen with seconds out. Danny, you can unmute yourself and ask your question. Hey, yeah, so I've got one for each guy. So, Javante, starting with you, if that's okay. If all goes well on Saturday in the big fight, oh, sorry, the, uh, on the fight date, what is your short-term plan for the next year? Who, who would you like to fight? What would you like to achieve? Um, that's beat whoever they put in front of me. That's my job. You know, uh, it could be anybody. You know, uh, that's, 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 that's just my job, you know, to beat whoever they put in front of me. You can't say too much. That's it. Thank you. And a question for Isaac Cruz. Um, before this fight was made, obviously, after the, the Romero issue, was Javante Tank Davis on your radar? How aware were you of, of what he was like as a fighter? Was he someone you were looking to fight anyway? Eh, bueno, antes de todo esto de la, de la cancelación de Romero, de que vos seas nombrado, ¿lo tenías visto a Gervonta? ¿Era alguien que tenías en tu radar? ¿Y alguien que decías, ojo, que lo voy a poder enfrentar pronto? Sí, claro, yo siempre he querido pelear con los mejores. Eh, y bueno, ahorita no fue la excepción. Me dieron una gran oportunidad de, de poder pelear con Yerbonta. Y bueno, es lo que estamos haciendo, preparándonos para, para pelear contra él. Sí, yeah, of course, because I always want to 
fight the best, regardless of when that time may come. And now we are training really hard in order to be up to that challenge. Thank you. All right. Great. Thanks, Danny. Our next question is going to come from Julius Julianis with ESPN Knockout. Julius, you can unmute yourself and ask your question. Uh, hi. Uh, my question is for uh, Isaac Cruz. I will say it in Spanish. Uh, Isaac, eh, las apuestas en abierto teniéndote como no favorito bastante claro. ¿Eso te supone una motivación especial para este combate? Sí, claro que sí. Ahora sí que yo voy a remar contra corriente, contra todos los prototipos que están en contra de mí y voy a demostrarles que estoy para los grandes nombres como es en este momento. Muchas gracias. Well, the question, uh, sorry, Julius, you have another question? No, no. Está. Okay. Uh, uh, the question from Julius was the fact that in the in the gambling scene, Isaac is clearly an underdog, and the question was whether that bothered him. And Isaac said that he's he's swimming upstream. He's well aware of the fact that many, if not all, of the people that are you know prognosticating this fight consider him a clear underdog. But he's ready to show that he can be up there in the marquee with all the stars that he that he wants to join after he wins this fight. All right. Thanks, Julius. Our last question is going to come from Rick Muhammad with Brawler Sports Media. Rick, you can unmute yourself and ask a question. Hey, what's up, champ? Much respect. Leonard, my main man. What's happening, y'all? Hey, so with, with the sellout that you guys did at State Farm Arena Tank, Man, it's, it's, it's even bigger going to the West Coast now. That's kind of like performing in Vegas. Can you imagine what the fan base is going to respond to you like now in the L.A. market? This is big for you, man. You're already a superstar. You're about to take it to a whole nother level. Yeah, just, um, again, I'm, you know, I'm uh, excited to be in this position. Uh, it's definitely, I'm definitely grateful. You know, I'm not trying to take advantage of it, you know, Definitely stay, you know, keep my, you know, my focus and try to continue to grow as a person, as a fighter, as a star, you know, um, just each and, day, each and every day I'm trying to improve. All right. Great. Thanks very much, Rick. That'll be the end of our media q and I'll turn it back over to Brian Custer to wrap it up. Okay, Drew, thank you very much. So, folks, there you have it. Um, you've heard from everybody. Uh, we'll wrap it up with this. Uh, Martin, if you could give uh, Isak Cruz one last uh, statement as we close it out. What does he want everyone to know? Bueno, un último mensaje, Isak, por favor, para la prensa, para los aficionados. ¿Qué necesitan saber de acá al 5 de diciembre? Invitarlos a que no se pierdan una gran pelea que voy a estar protagonizando el próximo 5 de diciembre contra el Tank Davis y vamos a dar la sorpresa Y bueno, estamos para darles una nueva estrella mexicana y nuevo campeón del mundo. Well, first of all, I want to invite everybody to tune in, come to Staples Center on December 5th. It's going to be a great fight, and I'm ready to shock the world, to pull the upset and pull up another star in the pantheon of world champions of Mexican boxing. Ooh, all right. Uh, Tank Davis, give you the last word, my friend. Uh, let the, what do you want people to know about December 5th? Uh, December 5th going to definitely be a firework, uh, firework show, you know, um, a great event. It's not going to just be, you know, uh, a boxing, a, a boxing match. It's definitely going to be a, a big event. You know, I think that, you know, um, there's going to be a lot of people there. Um, just come out, man. Um, uh, each and every day we work hard to, you know, please the fans and things like that. So, um, Again, it's definitely going to be a firework fight, and it's something that the fans, you know, um, can look forward to. You know, it's just a you know, regular fight. I think this is a big fight. You know, I think this is going to be probably one of the uh, best fights of 2021. You know, so everybody, you know, come out and support. Champ, thank you very much. I'll tell you why. It's going to be a big event. Uh, thanks to Tom Brown of TGB Promotions. Thank you to Leonard Ellerby of uh, Mayweather Promotions. And thank you to Gervonta, uh as well, who's got his own promotional company as well, GTD uh, Promotions as well. That's why it will be a big event. 
Tickets on sale, folks, at AXS.com. Make sure you get your tickets. You got the three-division world champion, Gervonta Davis, one of the biggest knockout artists in the game right now, undefeated, taking on the hard-hitting Esau Cruz Sunday, December 5th, Showtime Pay-Per-View from Los Angeles, the Staples Center. You don't want to miss it. We miss it. You certainly thank everybody who joined us here for this press conference. And, of course, we will see you fight week in the City of Angels, Los Angeles, the first week of December. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.